Welcome back to Quilts for Miles and today's video is going to be the second video to my banana quilt that I'm doing. As you can see on the design wall behind me I've got the last 18 blocks done of the banana quilt. So now it's a matter of setting it so it's deciding whether I want to set it that's in the pattern or if I want to change the setting and do my own setting. So all of the blocks took probably about, it would probably take a day if you sewed non-stop for the whole day um, doing the blocks and that includes cutting them, piecing, that's everything done for the whole day. This quilt sofa has been spread over a couple of days because I have been doing other things and it also has been very hot where I haven't been doing a lot of sewing. I started this I think on about New Year's Eve and today is about the 4th or so of January but I didn't sew on the 2nd or 3rd because it was just way too hot. And I only have been working on this quilt for a couple of hours in the mornings and then I go on to something else in the afternoon and day. So I would, I would estimate from start to finish it would be probably a couple of days to get this quilt where you're ready to be quilting it. And it is a very beginner friendly pattern I have, to, I have found since I've been doing it. It's easy to follow instructions, it's easy to put together, it's very very beginner friendly. So if you are a beginner and you do want to attempt this quilt, this is a perfect quilt for you to attempt. It would be fantastic for you. So if you didn't see video 1, I would suggest you go back and watch that and you'll see the first 18 quilt blocks um, when they're just on their own. I will later in the video show you all of the colours, like all of my quilt blocks together and how the colours will look. I'll get the first 18 up on the design wall very soon and show you what everything will look like when what all the blocks look like together. So don't forget this pattern is found in Perfect Tens Quilt and it's a book published by It's So Emma which is also owned by the Fat Quarter Shop. Can't give you any directions of what I've cut or the size of those finished blocks because it is a published pattern in a book so it is copyrighted. So if you want to do this quilt you're going to have to get the book and do it yourself. A free pattern, I would be able to show you a little bit of it because it's a free pattern so I'm going to show you where to go to get the pattern. So I really like how these blocks have come together. I like the colours, I like how simple they look and how easy they were to get it together and how quick it would be to get this quilt top together if I was working on it all the, to all the time if this was it, my only project. But as you'd know by now, this is not my only project. I've got many on the go. So I just work on little bits of everything a day and everything gets done eventually. But I like how the homespuns really stand out because it's the bowl there's a lot of the colour and the white just really fades away into the background of this quilt. So so far I am really liking it and now it's just a matter of as I said before to get the layout basically ready so I know how I'm going to set this and put it together as a quilt top. This quilt top will eventually go on my eBay shop in another few more weeks or whenever. I'll let you know when it is in my eBay shop and there is a link in the description to the eBay shop. I have also got shorts on my YouTube channel about this quilt, just showing the blocks and on my Instagram I've got one I think showing a little bit of the block, so say a minute or something like that it was, but I was just showing a little bit of the block basically. So please check out those as well. So I'm going to take you now to have a bit of a closer look at those blocks and <coughs> the colours and then I'll show you all of the blocks together up on that design wall. So if you haven't checked out video one, this is the book where I, where I got the pattern from. So as you can see it is the Perfect Tens quilt and it is published by It's So Emma. So this was also in video one, but in case you haven't seen video one, I'll give you a quick look at the diagram and the actual quilt that I am working on. It is called the banana quilt. And that's the layout that they've chosen for it. I'll have a play around with the blocks and decide if I go with that layout or my own layout. So they're the last 18 blocks. That middle colour comes across on my screen as a blue, but it is really a deep purple.
So that's all of the blocks together on the design wall. So I do really like how the colours are playing with each other and how it's all coming together. So here's a bit closer look at all the colours and all the blocks so far. So that's what I've done so far on this banana quilt. I like it when I get to this stage of a quilt because <coughs> you can really see that the finish line is near and you can really see it coming together and how and get a better visual on how it's going to look and how the colours are playing with each other. So that's all I've got for you for this video. Please check out my other videos and my shorts and go and have a look at our Instagram page and also our eBay shop because I do post overseas in from the eBay shop. So until my next video, God bless and have a good day.